good morning everyone today's lecture is about calculating the reactor heat transfer area theoretically so before going into the topic let's see the basic things so that we will be having some alignment this is basically how a reactor will look like a reactor is nothing but a cylindrical vessel which is equipped with a bottom dish as well as a top dish so this is the separation of the cylindrical dish from this dishes usually the volume of a reactor is nothing but a summation of the volume occupied by this cylinder and the volume occupied by this bottom dish so combinedly the cylindrical volume as well as the bottom dish volume we will be representing it as a nominal volume whereas coming to the top dish if you are going to add up this top dish to this nominal volume it is referred as a geometric volume nominal volume equals to cylindrical volume plus bottom dish volume so usually we will be referring the bottom dish as disc and the top dish as dome geometric volume is nothing but a combination of cylindrical volume plus bottom dish volume plus top dish volume for estimating the cylindrical volume we will be using the formula phi d square into l by 4 nothing but phi by 4 d square l coming to this bottom dish usually there will be different types of bottom dishes are available so they can be like semi elliptical tori spherical conical as well as sometimes it is going to be hemi spherical first of all in order to identify the total reactor heat transfer area we have to identify what is exactly the bottom dish is whether it's a semi elliptical or tori spherical or conical or hemi spherical so if you are able to identify the type of bottom dish so easily we can calculate the heat transfer area so here are the some of the dishes available this is how a semi elliptical will look like and this is the tori spherical and this is the hemi spherical conical is going to be it will take the shape of a cone usually the glass line reactors like some of the glass line reactors will be provided with the conical bottoms so if you are able to see there will be minor variation when compared between the semi elliptical and tori spherical so tori spherical will be having a type of a flat end at the bottom so here itself we will be having a bottom wall whereas coming to the semi elliptical so the curvature will remain same semi elliptical head the name was derived from a shape ellipse while coming to tori spherical 
sorry while coming to the semi spherical it is nothing but a half sphere while coming to the story spherical so it is the combination of two radius one is the crown radius and the second one is the radius of a torus i'll show how the name was derived So this is how usually a torus spherical will look like. So there will be different positions where if you are able to see the breakup. The, sub the subject part of this shape is nothing but a part of a sphere part of a big circle so if you are able to extrapolate the same curvature so it will become a big circle so we will be referring this part as the crown radius it will represent a circle so we will be referring it as a crown radius So this is the radius capital R. While coming to this end of the dish, so here we'll be having so here some small type of torus can be fitted up. As there are two torus available at both ends, the dish is referred as a torus spherical dish. So the radius of this torus shall be mentioned as the knuckle radius. This arrow represents the area of a knuckle. So using this, we need to derive the area of a torus spherical dish. And this area is considered as a transition between the crown radius and towards the torus. So that's the reason the name was derived as tori spherical head. Why? Because there will be two torus available at both the ends. So the area of this torus shall be represented as knuckle radius. And the area, sorry, the radius at the center will be referred as the crown radius capital R. So now we will see the formulas for estimating the areas, the surface areas of this total 3 plus the conical dish. If it's a semi elliptical, we will be using the formula pi by 2 into a into b. While coming to this story spherical, sorry, uh, while coming to this story spherical, the area I have actually tried to derive using a regression mechanism from mini tab. Why? Because we will be having different types of reactors from different vendors. As they are not going to be the same. So in order to get some alignment, I have taken all the volumes, all the measurements of the reactors of approx 35 reactors, which includes the glass lines also the glass lens as well as the SS316 reactors and some Hastolo reactors. By checking all these measurements, I have derived a common equation. So this equation is only an approximate or approximate equation. 
it's not a exact thing it will be having some variations but the fit for this equation is more than 90 percent so this is pi by 4 into 1.147 multiplied by d this is nothing but a internal dia to the power 2 and coming to this conical radius so it is pi into r into r plus square root of h square plus r square to the power 0.5 so this is the formula for conical decision while coming to hemispherical the formula is 3 into pi into r to the power 2 so first of all while trying to estimate the heat transfer area we need to check the type of dish then based on this type of dish we have to use the respective formulas so coming to the story spherical since this is a customized one so i have taken different dimensions from different reactors which is from a different vendors so i have finally found out this equation using regression and the fit for this equation is greater than 90 percent so remaining 10 percent can be error in his results error in the sense it will be having minor variations not much variations so using this now we have to calculate the heat transfer area why i have chosen this topic is in the last video that i have made like the estimation of a condensed area i have mentioned that the condensed area required is equals to the heat transfer area of reactor so i got some queries like how to estimate the heat transfer area of a reactor so i am making this video now to make you understand better i got a ga drawing from a uh, ga drawing of a reactor from india mart so this is how usually a ga drawing will look like so this is a reactor and i think these are the pitch blade turbines or a flat blade turbines i don't know exactly from this air drawing we need to consider the height of the cylinder and the internal dia of the reactor so if you are able to see the internal area of the reactor is 1850 usually in a J drawings the units for these measurements are going to be in millimeters so the diameter is 1850 and the height of the cylinder is 2200 so i'll be taking this internal dia is 1850 and height is 2200 mm the internal dia can be small d and the height shall be represented using l or h So now I will try to consider the case of a tori spherical descent. In order to estimate the heat transfer area. So first of all I will try to estimate the volume sorry. Uh, first of all I will try to estimate the heat transfer area of a cylindrical vessel. Cylindrical area. This shall be calculated using the formula pi into d into l in this case it is 3.141 into d is 1850 that is 1850 by 1000 why because i need to convert this into meter square instead of mm square into at least 2200 divide by 1000 again so it is 12.78 in meter square now i'll consider the case of a tori spherical dish so bottom dish area equals to pi by 4 that is 3.141 pi 4 into 1.147 into here d is 1850 so i'll convert this d into meters power 
powers 2 okay so this is coming around 3.53 m square total heat transfer area equals to the summation of the cylindrical area plus the bottom dish area it is coming around 16.32 m square so this is only the heat transfer area why because the nominal area usually you will get covered with a jacket and the top dish won't have any jackets so if you want to convert or if you want to calculate the total surface area it's not a total heat transfer area but it's total surface area so in such case the total surface area equals to this 12.78 plus 3.53 since both are going to be identical sometimes there will be some variations from bottom dish and the stop dish and most of the times it is going to be same so i will be taking it as multiplied with 2 so the total surface area is nothing but 19.85 it's approx 20 m square and sometimes if your reactor is having a conical bottom so in that case what will happen is the top dish is going to be semi elliptical or torus spherical but while coming to this bottom dish it is going to be conical so you want to calculate the conical area also so this is how we are going to calculate the total heat transfer area of a reactor theoretically the semi elliptical conical as well as semi spherical these formulas are <coughs> predefined <coughs> but while coming to the story spherical the area is going to vary why because it depends upon the vendor and it depends upon the transition how they are going to meet the transition from this crown radius towards the torus so i have taken this using the mini tab regression so i think hope you have liked this video for more you can subscribe and if you want to download our app so you can download our app on play store app name is pharma engineering calculators So this is our app. This app is completely equipped with almost 13 types of calculators automated completely. Only thing is you have to get the data. So this app will show you the outputs. In future we are going to upgrade this app with more calculators. So you can use this as a pocket calculator. And if you would like to join our training sessions, you can join our training sessions at CPE Tech. This is going to be training as well as certification course for process engineers usually we will be providing training and certification on process engineering learn six sigma and process safety management so we are at to start the quality management course so thanks for watching the video